okay guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel re Esther kitchen welcome you all back to my channel yes wherever you are watching from good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time today episode of my video i will show you how i make this cassava guys today i bring to you one of ghana best snacks one of ghana best snacks street food called a belly cacol so i also call it cassava ball or cassava donut yes whatsoever you can call it to be no. so guys first thing i will be doing is to peel my cassava peel it proper peel and then after it was peeled i wash it and this is what i will be doing now i'll be cutting it into pieces and cut off the center part of it you all know how cassava is so you just have to cut off the center part of it there is something at the center which you not allow to be in the recipe so i'll cut it off guys all right keep on watching if you are new to my youtube channel or you are welcome you are super loved by me guys i appreciate you all right after watching my video if you love this video and do subscribe put on the bell button for you to get notifications of my new video okay guys this is what i do after cleaning up the cassava and i will blend it with this side of my uh blender so i will excuse it very well excuse this is what we used to grind cassava those days but though that, that those days was just uh, electric and it's different but this is the particular side they use and this is the real flavor the same thing it gives to me after blending the cassava with this particular side okay guys keep on watching i appreciate you for stopping by i really really appreciate your time okay this is what i got this is how my cassava turned out to be after blending it it is proper smooth so what i will be doing now is to pour it into that net all right then i will be excusing the water away so you can decide to throw the water away after doing that or you can decide to keep the water to use it for something else don't forget that is the water which they used to do starch cassava starch also so video will be coming up maybe in uh maybe sometime i will show you how to make cassava starch at home especially we that is here in overseas difficult for us to get cassava starch so i will be showing you guys how to make cassava starch at home fresh cassava starch and that water that is coming out from it that is what we use to make cassava starch those days by our mothers okay guys so i just have to be excusing it step by step to take the water out of the cassava because it have to be very well dried very well dried no sign of water in it after or before starting frying it or making the donut or making the uh, cassava ball there should be no sign no sign no drop of water on it it have to be perfect well dried excuse it properly okay this is the first step so i will be taking it just a little by little okay so i will take it just little again for the second time and excuse it very well it is not easy to do with the fingers guys there is something special actually which is good to do this but i don't have it so i have to use my hands so oh, my hands <laughs> my fingers are super strong so i do excuse it again and then i will be excusing it again like i said it have to be proper well 
dried dried when i say dried dried okay so to my returning subscribers i appreciate you guys you guys are super amazing thank you without you guys there is no real estate kitchen okay guys this is what i got after all this is what i got this is how it will look like all right proper dried proper dried proper well dried okay this is it so i'll be showing you my fingers how my fingers look okay guys this is my fingers no sign this is my pan no sign of soapness or wetness or my pan it is very well dried okay so we are we are about to start making the agbele cow cow claw <laughs> one of the best ghana famous street food okay if you are Ghanaian, oh after watching this video give me a comment if i did proper well and if you are watching you are a Ghanaian, please share this video with your friends especially with Ghanaians living in europe and don't know how to do one of these snacks share this video with your friends so i'm seasoning it up now just have to add salt and shook onions that is what you need to season it up nothing more okay all right so after adding the salt just add salt for taste and onions for taste as well so still have to mix it up again okay that is the pan my clay pan placed on the cookie held and the hoya is already inside which is already well hot so i'll still miss it okay i'll still miss it all right this is what i will be doing adding a little to my pan then i will be rubbing it proper rub it have to be well 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 rub it have to be perfect well perfect well skews in your palm okay so that you will really get the flavor the flavor will not look like it is strong it will not look as if it is soft but it have to be well prepared so i will still excuse it i will still have to rub it so this is all i got this is it this is what it will look like guys this is it okay so I just have to do it a little bit because I'm the only person eating it. I'm just introducing it to my family for the first time. All right. This is it. It is proper way wrap. And that will be adding it to the oil to fry. Okay. 